summer move is finally over, although Slave Emily is still hard at work every day to bring some order to the chaos of our freshly renovated Royal Lakeside Bungalow. She almost has the kitchen in hand, which means she might make some delicious soup instead of buying those pressed chicken failure nuggets and enough beer to drown us all. Apparently, Royal Lakeside bungalows are short on usable cabinet space, so cream of mushroom is everywhere except where it should be. Like, seriously, there is a dumpster outside, Emily. Learn how to use it. But I suppose she's happy now that she's brought in an extra shelving unit. I'm still waiting on the deer Emily promised me, but on our way to the bungalow, we encountered an unexpected flock of geese in the road. This did not help any of us. Merlin was too busy hyperventilating to appreciate a unique hunting opportunity, and Mango yelled the entire way here. I was at my wit's end with the two boys and loudly told them to shut it in full meow. I was surprised I had such a guttural sound stored up in the refined royal vocal cords. So was Emily. She stopped to look back at me with concern, then assured us we were very nearly home, and a minute later she was parking. It was a hot day, but the bungalow was pleasantly pre-cooled, and Emily took us into the quiet room to rest, while she and her two friends continued hauling furniture and boxes in. The new environment has something for each of us. Mango has found new bathroom cabinets he can open. Merlin is monitoring the windows for signs of wildlife outside. I found the perfect little walkway on top of the kitchen cabinets, the very highest point in the bungalow. Bonus! Emily has some wine glasses up there. If she thinks I'm going to leave those alone, she's dreaming. Slaves are so cute when they're delusional.